Hi all. In this video, I will explain how to insert a or update a record into a target table without using an update strategy transformation. Here I have taken two databases, one is source database and target database. Using source records, I am updating or inserting a record into the target database table. Here I am using application type table. In application type table, I have application ID and application column two fields. Here I am removing application ID seven. Now in application table we have six records. That is application ID one to six and application name. I am copying this data into target table, target database application type table. Here it is application type table from target database. In this we do not have any records. Now I am creating a mapping to load this application type data from source database to target database. Here it is source application type. It is target one. I have pointed source and target tables respect to connections to source and target databases. I'm mapping source qualifier ports to target transformation ports. Saving the mapping. Now I am creating a session for this mapping. In workflow manager, I'm creating a session task. I'm giving the session name as s underscore m underscore test. I am associating the session to m underscore test mapping. In session properties mapping tab, I am updating the session connections. I am updating target database connection to target database and source qualifier connection to source database. And in source connection value as source and target connection value as target okay i am creating a workflow for this session in workflows create i am giving the workflow name as w underscore test And connecting this session with the line task. I have created a WNF for test mapping. I am running the mapping by selecting the start workflow. Here in workflow monitor, we can if we see the session log. Here in source, source records are six, and these six records are affected in target table. In source database, in application type table, we have six records. These six records are will be shown in target database application type table. Here these six records. Now I am inserting a new record into the source database table that is application type, and updating application ID value to app. Here I am updating application ID value to app. And inserting a new record that is with application ID 7.
here I am running these two SQLs here in source database in application type table we have seven records and for application ID one the application name is app in target database we have only six records and the application ID with one the application name is test now in workflow manager I am changing the session properties like in properties tab I am updating the street source row size insert here by default it, the value here is insert I am changing this value to update if I only update treat source row size update only source updates are reflected in target and means in source database we have one extra record 7 with application ID 7 this row will not be added into the target table here I am saving this session I am running the same task again if you go to the session log here output rows are 7 affected rows are only 6 I am executing these two SQLs here in source we have 7 records in target we have only 6 records here if we look into the application name of application id previously this value was set to test now this is app in source and target both means in source the value app is updated in target with a test now again i am updating source application id value to test i am executing the sql one to affected In source we have 7 records and in target we have 6 records. For application ID 1, in target the application name is app. In source it is different. Now I am changing the session properties like here the property name is I am keeping as update only. In mapping type, in application type. Here we have attributes like insert, update as update, update as insert and update else insert. I am checking update else insert with this property here in source if you have any records those records will be loaded into target and if you have any updates those, are, those will reflect into the target table I am selecting as ok saving the session I am restarting the workflow if you look into the session log both source 7 records will be shown in target here source effector rows are 7 target effector rows are 7 if you go to the database and verify you can see for application id 1 the application name is test in target also for application id 1 the application name is test and the new record with application id 7 is loaded into the target here if we compare with the update strategy transformation there is one drawback with this process using update strategy transformation we can inactive an existing record and insert a new record into the target table with the above approach without update strategy we cannot inactive an existing record based on an incoming record from the source however we can update an existing record and insert a new record thank you